Greg Tabone here, gregtabone.com. This is not just another guitar video on how to learn guitar, but after my 30 years of experience in classrooms, across our school board, teaching private lessons, being in a school band, I really want to share with you a lot of the secrets that I've learned about guitar. Because when you're learning the guitar, the most important thing to do for yourself is set some goals and instructional videos and books listing chords and encyclopedias about uh, um, 4,500 chords, you can learn them. Um, those kind of manuals, in my experience, are just reference materials and people buy those books and that's fine, but if you really want to learn how to play guitar um, and take a hold of this great instrument, I really think that there's a better way to do that. And the first thing you have to do is look at yourself and decide how much time do I want to put into this instrument? Because this instrument and playing an instrument is probably one of the best things I ever did in my entire life and it's changed my entire life. So as you're reflecting on your own learning, I really strongly encourage you to reflect and say to yourself, what do I want to learn on the guitar? Do I want to just learn how to play a few chords? Do I want to learn how to actually play songs? Do I want to be able to sight read music? And one of the things I want to throw out there right from the beginning is, in my experience, a lot of guitar players are really good guitar players and the one thing they always regret is that they never learned how to read music. So reading music opens up a whole other area of learning for yourself. And I, I want you, before you think about it, yeah, you can say, I've been using tabs, I've been using tabs for a long time, and that helps. But the tablature has a huge disadvantage in terms of looking at the flow of the music, understanding the rhythms of what you're doing, um, and looking at the note values and just the overall flow of the music. So in this video, and I really hope you'll join my community because I want to go through and I'm going to tell you the things I've learned from not only teaching guitar lessons privately and in groups, but as a teacher in elementary and secondary schools, as a principal, superintendent, I've seen learning happening. And the biggest piece with regard to learning that you're going to hear is setting goals for yourself. And you've heard this before, but I want to tell you a few stories. The first story I want to tell you is about my visit to a kindergarten class. So these students were about five or six years old. And in that class, uh, I went up to the students and I said to them, well, when you were learning how to do this math problem or this other activity, what did you experience? And the first thing they said was, we made a lot of mistakes. And I said, and why didn't you give up? And the student said, because we have a growth mindset. So you may have heard of Carol Dweck. She's done a lot of research on growth mindset. And I encourage you to take a look at her things. But a growth mindset basically means that you're learning and when you make a mistake, you're not going to accept that as defeat, but you're going to keep going and use that as uh, a growth, uh, growth piece for yourself. Now, people, and it's a known fact, people do not learn when you do things right. You only learn from things when you do them wrong. And that classroom really brought to light that those students at that age didn't care about making mistakes. And that's what I want to challenge each of you as you're learning the guitar. Because whether you're a beginner, a guitar player, or an experienced guitar player, the best piece is learning and continuing your learning. Now another one story I want to tell you about is just got back from a vacation and it was a great, uh, great vacation, relaxing. But one thing I did do was bring my guitar because my guitar is really my uh, relaxing piece. And I set a few goals for myself and one of them was to learn a really, really difficult song. And I went through and I set my goal. So I had two weeks to sort of learn the song and my goal was not to be able to play the song perfectly, but I wanted to be able to play the song pretty much memorized and I wanted to be able to know the parts of the, of the music and work on it. So I'm going to have a couple of videos on how I did that as we move forward. But I want you really to, to take a look at yourself and say, if I want to really learn the guitar, when I look at the guitar, and it took a long time, I, I started teaching guitar. Um, when I was 15 years old, my guitar teacher uh, ended up quitting at the studio and the owner of the studio said, Greg, can you come in? And um, we've got about 50 students and a whole guitar program. Can you start to teach these students? And I had started playing guitar from about eight years old. So I was 15 and I was sitting here going, oh my gosh, I don't know all the notes on the fretboard. And as a guitarist, that's the first thing you always say. I don't know all the notes 
on the fretboard. And I was a pretty good sight reader at reading music, but the training I took of reading music and going through every position on the guitar helped me immensely as a musician. And I really want to leave with you that piece of, of learning the guitar is not just memorizing patterns. You can find patterns. Patterns are very good. The brain works on two things when it's learning something. Number one is a reward system. Your brain likes to feel good. And if you do something well, you release dopamine in your brain and you feel great. And that's what motivates you to go on. The second thing your brain does is it look for patterns. And um, a lot of times people just focus on the pattern piece instead of setting a clear goal. So part of the videos I'm gonna be sh sharing with you, and again, I hope you subscribe to our, my community, I really want to show you how to set a realistic goal for yourself so that you can feel good at the end of your practice session. Because if you feel good, then you'll continue to do it. It gets back to the growth mindset that I was talking about before. So on the guitar, there are so many notes. If you start to memorize them, and I didn't have success at memorizing patterns, I could memorize them, but I would really not remember them. But when I look at the guitar fretboard now, I can visually see every note on the guitar and where it's going. So if I was playing a song and I just play, well, just play five notes, if I was playing this. Those are the same pitches of the C, D, E, F, G all along the guitar. Now, if you were memorizing patterns, you wouldn't know which octave that those notes were in. But as you move up the guitar, I have the freedom now of knowing where those notes are. So if I want to play in a different position, I can actually find the position. And believe it or not, I'm going to show you shortcuts of how, if you're playing in a certain key, if you're playing in E flat major or D major, or if you're playing in B major, where do you go on, on the guitar fretboard to actually have all the notes under your fingers. Now, this is not memorizing a pattern per se, but this is giving you an educated spot on your instrument to be able to play successfully. So if you're reading music, you're gonna have your hand in the right position, you're gonna know which notes you can play, and you're gonna learn that piece. And once you put it into your brain, you will never forget, it's like riding a bike. So there's two things I wanna uh, just elaborate on. It's memorizing that piece in your mind so you know it. It's the muscle memory of that piece in your fingers that's the other piece. So your fingers understand what to do. And I remember I had played, I was playing a gig and somebody called out a song. And there was a guitar solo, a crazy guitar solo in it. And I hadn't played the solo in a long, long time. So we started playing and in my head I'm going, oh yeah, this is my favorite song. And I go, oh my gosh, there's eight bars and then I have to start the guitar solo. And I could not remember one thing about the guitar solo. In my mind I had a little bit of it but I was like, oh my gosh, sort of know where I had to start. And it came up four, three, two, one, the guitar solo, I got right into it and my hand was playing the notes and I couldn't even, I didn't even think about it, but I was playing the correct notes on the guitar. And part of that was because of the muscle memory in my hands, but I also understood the relative position of the notes and what I had to do. So I attribute a lot of that learning towards that as well. So in these videos, and I really hope that you're going to join me and I'll show you how to play different things on the guitar. I'm gonna show you how to move from just learning your basic chords to adding some chords in a very systematic way so that you're almost getting a lesson, but the beauty of these videos will be that you can learn at your own pace. So if there's a video that interests you, you can take that video and move on. But the biggest part of this whole piece is that you need to establish in your own mind as a guitar player or a learning one beginning and what is it that you want to learn and you have to establish your own timeline but a couple points I'm going to give you and I'll reflect these in another video is you need to set aside time to do that every day now if you were playing a video game when you start the video game for the first time you make a ton of mistakes you make mistakes all the time but what happens is you get to the next level you learn and you do pretty well and then you finish the level and you know what, you feel pretty good about that. And then you get to the next level and you make a lot of mistakes but you do one or two things better so you get some rewards. And that video game thing, it knows because it keeps rewarding you, giving you points and then the challenge goes up very slowly. And that's the key to your learning on the guitar. It's not trying to learn the whole fretboard in one day. 
Uh, if, I, if I took you to the golfing range and I gave you a club and I said, you've never played golf before, swing that golf club and try and get a hole in one, there would be a whole set of different skills that you would have to learn in order to hit that ball. We wouldn't talk about how to stand, how to bend your knees, how to swing, how much to hit the ball, where to put your eyes. We wouldn't do that all in one lesson. So that's what we're going to be talking about as we move forward. And once again, I'm going to give you some practical stories and lessons that I've learned as an instructor and leader, um, leadership in education for 30 years, not only giving private guitar lessons, but as an educator in our school system, what, what kind of things have I seen work with students? And how, for example, could you learning and you teaching someone else, just what you've learned today, how can that double or triple your learning and memorization on the guitar?